Ah, oh, Maurice, my son, you have fallen. EA Sports. <laughs> So yeah, it turns out that Formula One cars are pretty fast, and they should be. A thousand brake horsepower, 700 kilos, drivers who are actually good at driving. Well, most of them. And enough downforce to make your neck do that whole voluntary right angle thing. But it begs the question, can anything beat one? Is there a car that exists out there at the moment that is faster than an F1 car. Now, I'm extremely lazy, so I ain't gonna go outside and actually try and physically find this thing. However, I do have access to simulators where I can stay inside away from that pesky sun. Vitamin D be damned, I enjoy my rickets. So I figured what I would do at 9.13 a.m. this lovely morning is troll through the endless list of a set of course of mods. There are literally thousands of these feckin' things. And try and find a few that I think might have a chance at challenging an F1 car. And before I can try and beat an F1 car, I need to know how fast it's gonna go. So let's get on circuit, set a lap time, and see if we can find something to beat it. So to test out our cars, we are at the Scuba Circuit, which I think it's fair to say is probably one of the birthplaces of modern time attack. This is where tuners and manufacturers go to see just how quick their car can lap here, and getting a decent time here is a proper badge of honor. So I feel like turning up in an F1 car may be a little bit <laughs> I might be cheating a little bit, but I'll be interested to see what sort of benchmark we're going to set. Now, F1 2022 players, I know this view might not be familiar for you, but it's what we call a cockpit view. It's what drivers actually see when they uh, when they drive a car. I'm not an elite, sorry. Anyway, uh, I need timing. Right, let's see what a modern F1 car can do with cold tyres on a flying lap. Let's get ourselves a benchmark. Okay, I can carry more speed than that. Oh my god, this is already going to be almost impossible to beat, I think. Just carefully, carefully. Oh, we're going to break. I mean, that's sort of a line. That curve is illegal when I touch it. But this lap isn't perfect, but to be honest, I don't mind. Makes my job on the other side a little bit easier. Oh, it's going to be fucking rapid, isn't it? Of course it is. A 43-1. So a 43-1 is our time to try and beat today. This is going to be feckin' difficult. Why do I do this sort of shit, man? So first up to attempt to dethrone the F1 car is this little cutie. This is a Formula student car, kind of. So Formula student is a competition held across tons of universities across the world where their motorsport degree team basically try and build a car to regs and then race it in a competition to see who wins, which I think is awesome. And this particular one is the sim version of the Mad Formula team. I'm going to have to read this. MFT01 Phoenix. And what makes this car really interesting and actually gives it an advantage over an F1 car are these bad boys on the back of the car. Fans! This is a fan car, similar to the McMurtry we saw absolutely smash up the hill this year at Goodwood. And although it doesn't quite have the power to match an F1 car, this thing pretty much won't slow down, I imagine. We'll see anyway. We are running the Evo version, which has more power than the original one would have, but, you know, we're up against a feckin' F1 car. We need everything we can get. <laughs> Right, so, uh, we're on board now in our awesome little Formula student car by the guys at MAD, and if I press this button here, boop, we have the DRS light come up, and that basically turns off the fans, which very much increases our straight line speed. So on the straights, I'm going to be turning DRS on, try and go quicker, and taking it off for the corner so I don't have a massive crash. Right, let's go! <coughs> that was a terrible getaway, sorry, everyone. You know, it's not, it's not too slow getting away there. Moving about a bit in a straight line though. And there you go, so we've got the uh, DRS off to try and get out of the corner quicker. And now, there we go, now we're going. So I've got to really nail this activation. Oh my God, there's so much grip in the car. I can definitely be a bit more aggressive there. You've been a second for that. Oh, this car is insane in the corners. Oh my God. 
braking too much. I keep forgetting I'm in a fan car. Now, uh, the F1 time is about to come and go, I think. The 40, 43 1 for the F1 car. There it goes. This isn't a bad attempt by the, uh, the Formula Student car. Not by any stretch of imagination. Across the line. It's a 51 9. Now, I know that's not anywhere near the F1 car, but that is a really, really quick time around Scuba. There's only a couple of time attack cars that can beat that. Insane. Good effort, guys. Good effort. This thing is loud. I love it, guys. We are now going full time attack. This is a purpose built time attack Mitsubishi Evo 8, boasting over 1,000 brake horsepower, tons of aero. Look at the front cannons there. The more you have, the more aero you definitely don't have. Four wheel drive, slicks, big feckin' brakes, and this is pretty much designed for this purpose. This is a proper bit of kit. It is built to go fast around this circuit. So let's see if we can get anywhere near the F1 car. So regardless of how this lap goes, I'm fairly sure it's gonna be quite intense. So let's go 1,000 horsepower Evo on full map. There's the turbo. Right at the top, but we get in the corner. Where is my grip, Bono? Right. Oh, this is fast. Downshift protection giving me the big cuck and then just under steering out the corner. First gear. Let's go. This is just absolutely typical time attack build where it's just like, fuck it, add power, we'll go faster. There is some cornering speed, but you can see I have to scrub off so much of what that power delivers to actually get through the second corner. Am I going to stop? I mean, that's kind of a line. No. Onto the back straight. Now we're fucking... Oh, there goes the F1 car time. Might get sub-50 still. Just a 49.8, which again is a ludicrous time around this circuit, but still six seconds slower than a Formula 1 car. Man, we need to start pulling out the big guns because we, uh, we're not finding any time here. Nowhere near enough. So the next challenger, um, <laughs> we're starting to get desperate now. <laughs> I I'm looking around for anything that has a possibility of beating an F1 car. So I thought, hell, we'll try a supercar. These things are driven by insane people that want to die in the most brutal way possible. And they have my utmost respect. So stats are fairly simple. 115 wheel horsepower and 280 kilos, including driver. We also have a little bit of air as well, produced by that rear wing. I mean, just ignore the fact that my guy is directly in the way of that. And this fairly smooth body shell is still going to get us up to a decent top speed. So, uh, not sure we're going to quite beat the F1 car, but we'll see how close we can get. This sounds exactly like... The, I think it's a TVR Speed 12 in GT2 when you rev the shit out of it on the grid. Right, supercar time. I'm going to have to really throw this thing around if I want to get any sort of decent time out of it. That's the nature of the beast. Oh, my God. Well, okay, it means we get a good start to that, at least. Good top speed. So start off flying up into the supercar. Where the hell do I break? Oh, it's sketchy. Just keeping a pin though. Woo! Flat. Mm, not quite. Shit me. Okay, I get a do-over. Oh, tires are warm now. Okay, here we go. Second bumpy though. I think it like, I have zero suspension this thing. Just my spine. First might be better there, but we're right on the edge. Oh! Mate, it's rowdy, this thing. Perfect. Perfect corner exit. He's not as far off as I thought he was going to be. The time! A 48.2! So our quickest competitor so far. Still five seconds out. But to be fair, being five seconds off an F1 car in a shoebox with a fucking wing on it. Ain't bad. It just reinforces how insane these guys are in real life. So I'm not gonna lie, boys, things are getting a little bit a little bit desperate. <laughs> so uh, if you're gonna be an F1 car, then I guess you sort of have to bring an F1 car, right? This is an F2004, the fastest of the V10 era of F1 car. And for a very long time, a lap record holder 
for most of the circuits. While this doesn't have quite as much aero as modern cars, it is lighter, it is less slippery in a straight line, and has lots of glorious NA power. Pretty much as much power as modern F1 cars, but without a turbo, so no lag, just responsive scariness. I haven't driven a, uh, a V10 F1 car in a while. Uh, I always miss how these things sound. Sorry, I'm, I'm that guy, but fuck it. So to give me the best chance possible, I have kind of warmed my tires up a little bit. Oh, it sounds good. There we go. I have to really be careful. Mid-corner, the grip of modern day cars are insane, even compared to this. A bit wide there, but rolling the speed through. Traction control kicking in, trying to handle. Nearly a thousand of the finest V10 horses. Oh man, big TC moment there. It's all right. Mid corner, you can really feel the, the difference between the modern cars and this one. And even the warm up lap was a 56, a 46, sorry. So what's this going to be? Now that we're on it, 23.19 a beat. Can it do it? Come on. Go. 41.4. Get fucked! Modern F1 car! Oh baby! A triple! Who needs aero when you have rocket car? But I kind of think this doesn't count. Why? Because it's still a second F1 car. I do have an idea though. I do have an idea for what could be this time. Whilst my monkey brain was trying to figure out which car to bring, I figured that I should give the modern F1 car oh, another yeah. shot because my lap time at the start, eh, it, it kind of sucked. And I'm kind of sad that I did that because I went quite a bit quicker. Oh man, just inside. So now we're bringing out the big guns and people who have watched this channel for a while will already know what this is. But if you don't, let me explain to you very quickly. This is the 2016 Porsche 919 LMP1 Hybrid. Won the one a couple of times, awesome car, probably the quickest LMP1 car that was once ever made. But this isn't that, this is a modified version of that to bring it up to spec with the Porsche 919 Evo. Now the Evo is an amazing piece of kit. It's basically this car with all the shackles and the regulations taken away, meaning that on the hybrid button it's making about 1200 horsepower, it has more aero than before as well, different gearing, more aggressive front maps, the ICE engine is also making a bit more power. It's basically an LMP1 on steroids. This, I think, is the only real life car that has any chance of being an F1 car around this circuit, so uh, let's give it a fair old crack. Oh, this, this cockpit just feels like home to me. I've always loved driving this thing around. So, 41.2 to beat now. I really made this hard for myself, but that's how I like it. Hard. So, this is gonna be a fun lap. Um, I have to be glued to this deploy button because every time I'm touching that, I've got 1200 horsepower, four wheel drive, out of his tight corners here, that's going to be massive. So, anyway, let's go. No one either, baby. Oh, it's quick. 280 k's there, just casually. Holding 140 mile an hour for that last corner. Break quite early, though. Carrying so much speed, a little bit wide, but it doesn't matter. Didn't lose much speed there. Gearing so short as well around here, it has to be. On that button. My favorite button in the world. Oh, the speed of the thing. Break up seemingly early for the hairpin to even stand a chance of stopping for it. It's going to be tight. We've got 41 2 to beat. Ah! Oh, no way! A 41 3! Okay. I'm going to let the car warm down a bit, and we're going to go after that. I cannot let an F1 car win. I cannot let those pesky F1 YouTubers win. Look at you, Ben Daly, you little shit. Let's go. Scrap in the front tires, who cares? Come on! Oh yeah, 41-1. Just inside the F1 car. But that's what it takes, ladies and gents. So you're probably wondering why I actually made this video, because we know F1 cars are fast, right? We know they're quick. 
But I think in all the politics and all the bullshit that comes with watching F1 nowadays, I think we forget just what a feat of engineering a modern F1 car is. It took me... I, I basically spent the entire morning trawling through mods on a solo Corsa, trying to find something that I think would come anywhere near anywhere near an F1 car and it took an LMP1 car with all the restrictions taken away to only just pip the F1 car and I gave myself more time in the 919 than I did in the F1 car because I wanted to beat it. I think in a level playing field it would be so close between the two. What you have to understand is that these cars go racing every weekend and most of them are reliable enough to finish every feckin race. Not Ferrari, lol. So next time you're thinking about chewing out a Lewis Hamilton fan online or a Max Verstappen fan online, just remember you are watching some of the fastest race cars in the world to ever exist. And remember how lucky we are to get to witness that. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Very fun to make. And all the mods will be listed below in the description if you want to give it a go yourself. A massive, massive thank you as always to the channel members and Patreons who support me over here on YouTube. It is much appreciated. Thank you so much for all your support. I also appreciate each and every one of you for spending a little bit of your day with me. Thank you so much. Take care. Have an awesome day. See you next time.